we got us a little Chevy truck in here, OBS, um, like an SS Chevy truck. You can already see it's got the big rims on it. I want to say they are 26s. So he's already been doing a lot of the work on the truck. So kind of typical deal. Let me get you back here, show you what we got. You can see the wheels are sticking out. Sticking out about probably inch or so. So we're gonna wind up narrowing it and everything, getting all that stuff situated. You can see over here a little bit better. So kind of kind of see what's going on. He's already done all the QA1. It's like a QA1 conversion kit. Basically makes it like a kind of like a ladder bar, like a torque arm. You can see right right through there. Kind of gives it a torque arm style suspension for the rear. Switches it over to coil over, so it gets rid of your leaf springs. So basically, you wind up losing that so it kind of gains some room what we're going to do is narrow the rear end up get all that stuff situated get these wheels tucked up under here and then just kind of square all the suspension up and get all that get all that set and get everything set back on the ground and we'll show you how it goes as we get that done all right so you can see what we're going here what we did basically was Cut this end off, see, put a bevel on it. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get the other piece, the flange cut, we'll put it over there in the mill and we'll kind of do the same thing basically. We'll true it up and then we'll get it milled down and get a little bevel put in that and then we'll be good to go. We can go ahead and pop it back together. We got the big rims on there, you can see. No more issues fitting anymore. 26 has got the four Giottos. Like I said, you can see under the bottom basically how this setup works. So it's really like a three link deal. It does away with the leaf springs. Um, QA1 makes it. So basically how it works, you see that cover, it's got the, the bolts that bolt onto the rear end cover. And then it actually has that torque arm that goes up to the front and it bolts up to the frame and that kind of does away with all that. And you just use coilovers to set the ride height in the rear. But like I said, we got new axles in it. We got the rear end shortened. I think we wind up shortening this one, I wanna say it was like six inches overall. You can still see we got plenty of room on the inside and it's, it's not tucked too far out. Like I said, I don't like these things to get too too far tucked under there. They just start looking kind of funny. But turned out pretty good. But as you see, that's gonna that's gonna wrap us up on that. He already had the front end installed. Like I said, he did all the, the suspension stuff itself. But if I can crank this thing up and let y'all hear it, sounds good. It's nasty sounding. Sound pretty good. It's got a nice motor in it, but I so said that's gonna wrap us up on that. And stay tuned for the next one.